Hi, my name is James Flint. I'm a professional photographer and I want to talk to you about choosing the right digital camera for you and how to buy the best digital camera. Uh, as, you may know, as you may know from looking out on the internet or even a local electronics or camera store, there are seemingly infinite number of cameras to buy and furthermore uh, in tons of options to go along with all these cameras. Uh, the major difference between digital cameras is a point and click camera and an SLR camera. An SLR camera is going to allow you to change the lenses and often have more manual functions. If you're someone that likes to just take pictures for fun, you're not really interested in learning the manual features of a camera, I suggest getting a small point and shoot camera with automatic features. That's very important. If you don't understand f-stop, aperture, uh, shutter speeds, you're definitely going to be shooting in automatic modes and you need to get a camera with those features. So one of the first things you want to determine is am I more a casual photographer or do I aspire to do some more professional work? Uh, casual, just for fun, again get yourself a point and click small camera. Uh, if you want to get into more professional work you're going to need an SLR, you're going to need a high megapixel count, you're going to need the ability to change the lenses and most importantly you're going to need your manual functions because uh, a professional photographer always is going to want to control the settings themselves. So there's the first distinction. Uh, another distinction is what you're going to want to do with the, with the pictures after you have them. Um, if you have, this is where megapixels is going to come into account. If you want to be doing um, some enlargements, uh, maybe a photography exhibit or uh, you know, decorating a home with photographs, you're going to want to have at least six megapixels. This will allow you to do 8x10s, 8x12s, and larger sizes. Again, just for fun, just for a digital use, uh, you can get down with a cheaper camera with a lower megapixel count. Um, it's important to read the reviews on cameras. Uh, they're all over the internet. You can find out how different people feel about cameras, um, the ease of use, the reliability. Um, of course, if you go with a trusted name like Nikon or Canon, you know, you're, you're buying into their long reputation and um, you know, they have their reputations for a reason. They make quality products. So I encourage you to shop around, think about how you're going to be using the camera, how you're going to be using the photographs, and that'll help you choose the right camera for you.